Where am I? Hmm. Could this be what humans call a dream? Fascinating. Protect the schism. What? If the schism is lost, nothing will stand between the world and Spyrex. That's right. I must protect Riza Maxia from Spyrex. You must protect spirit kind and humanity alike. That is your purpose in life. Exactly. If I die, the world would be in grave danger. Maxwell cannot die. That's right. You must not choose death. Never. You must never choose death. When Maxwell dies, when that happens... That voice. I swear I've heard it before. A long time ago. <sighs> I wonder what happened after I passed out. Is everyone okay? Anybody? Jude? Oh. Come to give your report? Huh? Too easy. Too careless. <laughs> Self doubt, hesitation, dreams. It's like I'm becoming human. It's been a while since I've been alone. Back where I started. Thank goodness. We never thought you would wander off on your own. We were most concerned. I'm sorry. I was careless. Where are the others? We don't know. Huh? What in the world happened?
I see. Who would have thought those people from Azul would come to our rescue? Indeed. I am certain the others are safe. I hope so too. It's one of those flying ships from the marsh. What are those things? Wow, Rowan. I figured someone your age would have seen everything by now. <laughs> I assure you that's not the case. <gasps> What's wrong? It's... It's nothing. Let's just look for the others. They must be close. Right. Shall we explore the cave? Why am I feeling this way? Is it because of the dream? Do you know where we are? Is this a jewel? I haven't the faintest idea. There is still much in the world that remains a mystery, even to me. Are Wingle's words still troubling you? Are you worried no one's around to unify things now that Noctigal's gone? You could say that. For all his stubbornness, Noctigal had a gift for unifying the people. Rashigal's recent growth is a testament to that. I dread what will happen to it now. The question of whether I could do anything to help constantly plagues my mind. I'm sorry. I never realized it all affected you so much. Quiet. Huh? The soldiers from the marsh. What's so special about Maxwell? She looks just like a regular old broad to me. I can't believe they want us to capture that witch alive. What a big waste of time. Killing her would sure be easier. It would appear they are alone. Maybe we could squeeze some info from them. You know, rough them up and stuff. Perhaps. But could we really capture them with just the three of us? Huh? Did you hear that? I better go check. All right. Watch yourself. This is our chance. Right. We can do this. Who's there? Hey! What is it? Piece of cake! Stop! 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 <laughs> Far too easy. I'm sorry, you two. No need to apologize. Yeah. You know we're here for you, right? You can tell us if something's wrong. Hmm? Doesn't matter what it is, and you might feel better getting it off your chest. What do we have here? Could this be a Spyrix? It's a spirit fossil! Mila, I assume you know something about all this. I do. Is it also possible you know where these people come from?
They're from outside Riza Maxia. What? Uh, what? I don't understand. This world, Riza Maxia, is surrounded by a spirit art known as the Schism. Outside the Schism lies a world called Olympias. And these people came from there? I am certain of it. <clears throat> Mila, does Jude know about this? Perhaps I should have explained this all to you sooner. Be on guard, you two. Something's coming. What is that? That was close. We must leave this cavern immediately. We can worry about finding the others once we're out. We'll finish our conversation then. Very well. you do something? Do you think I have what it takes to be a nurse? Are you asking because of what happened to that soldier? The best nurse in the world couldn't have saved him. It's not just that. The main reason I want to be a nurse is because I thought it'd be nice to help Jude. You know, as my job. What's wrong with that? Are you troubled by what Agria told you back in the capital? A nurse's job is to help sick people, right? I just worry that my patients would question my motivation if they knew. Hmm. Personally, I don't think motives are particularly important. But what if I start making mistakes? I might start thinking it's the effort that counts. I'd be giving myself excuses for my failures. Is that the same one from before? Except now it sounds even more ticked off. The soldiers likely encroached on its territory while they were searching for us. Where is it coming from? Mila, behind you! Right on point! How could this be? Calm yourself. Leia, please provide support. You got it! Let's do this! It's like I got fried! My mustache is singed as well. I'm sorry, this is my fault. N no that's not true! I've been nothing but a burden to you both lately. It happens to the best of us. Don't let it trouble you. What is this maddening feeling? I don't know how to describe it, except to say it gets in the way whenever I need to focus. Are you okay? So, back to your question from before. Huh? Uh, right. Results are always important, yes. But what's even more crucial is the resolve to do what must be done. Even when I lost the four, even when I became crippled, I still had the willpower to complete my task. Indeed. Without will, success cannot follow. Yeah, you're right. Hopefully I'll figure it all out. But 
By the way, what do you think about me wanting to work alongside Jude someday? Don't worry. I won't abandon either of you before you find your answers. I'm not sure you got the gist of my question, but thanks. Guess I was just imagining things? All right, let's go. The exit should be ahead. Yes. Okay. Where are we? Look, it's Cambalar's castle. Mila! You're okay! Mila! I missed you! Am I glad to see you? I'm so glad you're all safe. It's good to see you again. I wholeheartedly agree. Mila? Oh. Do I know you? I've never seen you before. Huh? Why, I am your elder sister. Sister? I don't have a sister. What's going on, Muse? This may be our first time speaking true. Yet we are both spirits born into this world at nearly the same time. Well, you definitely are a spirit. That much I can believe. <laughs> no need to be so suspicious. What could a spirit gain from impersonating your sister? You are Maxwell, after all. That's true, it wouldn't gain her anything. Why did you appear before Jude? <laughs> because you summoned me before him, or rather, your powerful feelings for him summoned me. Really? Could that even be possible? I don't know. I'll admit I've been hearing a voice in my dreams. Oingo? Hold that thought. So the information was correct. I despise that man, Gilland. He promotes peace, even as he uses Spyrex to hurt humans and spirit kind alike. We may have no choice but to eliminate him and his group. I agree. How will we do that? Those people have armored soldiers and flying ships and big cannons and... 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 Alvin, it's time you came clean. You should tell us everything you know. Alvin! I assume Gaius won't stand for this. He is inviting us in. Frankly, I'm surprised he even revealed himself to us. Maybe they're testing us? It's not a trap, is it? What are we waiting for? Let's go. What happened? I'm on the straight and narrow now. I promise. And why would we believe you this time? I have a score to settle with Gillen. Let me be the one to finish him off. If I betray you again, you have my permission to run me through with that sword of yours. So let me come with you. And if I refuse? 
Then I'll kill him on my own. Very well. Thanks. I appreciate it. We have to find out what Gaius is planning. Yeah. You've come. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those... invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something... you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say... that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the schism. Does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon, but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped. Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. Gelen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. And unifying reason, Maxia? That was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact. But for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless he's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Rize Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. 
The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Cambalar. Oh yeah, right. Because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius! Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be short-handed. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. Wingle, there's something I would like to ask you. Am I correct in my understanding that you led Ajul's armies at Fezabel Marsh? Using boosters to move through the marsh was a brilliant strategy. Are you mocking me? That strategy played right into Gillen's hands. You aren't the only one who failed to see through Gillen's facade. I share the same shame. I didn't realize someone who turned his back on his duty had any honor left to lose. Is that what you're doing here? Some sad attempt to return to the battlefield and erase your shame? How can you say that? Don't you make fun of Rowan! He's a great guy for someone who's so old! You were a skilled tactician in your prime, I grant you that. But how much of that skill remains today? Former Chief of Staff Ilbert, care to play a game? A game, you say? A mock battle, using a real military map. But of course I would understand if you were reluctant to see how time has ravaged your talents. You don't need to buy into this. I accept. This board lets us control data from historic battles, and see different ways they might play out. And what battle is this data from? Twenty years ago, on the Fezabel outback. The Battle of Fezabel. The struggle between the armies of Rashigal and the former king of Ajul. Correct. It was a tragic battle in which both armies suffered heavy casualties from a giant tsunami. It was Ilbert the Conductor's one and only draw. And you wish to recreate that battle now? This is no recreation. If I had led Ajul into battle, we would have won. That is what I will prove here today. Formation Ichthys. All troops advance. The core of the Rashigal army is being pushed back. Left and right troops spread out to the wings. Surround the enemy's vanguard. It's no good. The vanguard is unstoppable. What is this power? That's Gaius's unit. Their first time in battle. You won't surround them so easily. Both wings advance. Circle to the enemy's flank. Planning to launch a counterattack from my flank? Such a boring and predictable response. I'll simply attack while your troops are changing course. This battle will be won before the tsunami hits. The enemy is turning faster than Rashigal. Look out! All troops maintain forward movement! Your goal is the high ground behind the Ajul army! What? Rashigal's army is assembling on the hill! It's over. It is impossible to defeat a defending army on high ground in so short a time. Soon the tsunami will come and engulf the plains. You will have no choice but to retreat. <laughs> 
And this is what you call a victory? I am satisfied simply not to lose. I see. Thank you for the match, Conductor. We will settle this in a different way. <laughs> Sore loser! You did great, Rowan. It's because I failed in the past. If only I had used this strategy back then. I think it's great you learned from your mistake. You're still growing, even at your age. Indeed. And I still have a great deal more growing to do. I may even grow out of these clothes one day. What do you want? Um, it's about Zhao. He's dead. Did you think he somehow survived that? <sighs> oh, know what I heard? I heard he died protecting a spoiled little brat and her stuffed dolly. A fitting end for a foolish old man. How can you? Don't you talk that way about him! You got a problem with me saying the truth? That's enough, Agria. It's not even close to enough. The lives of the Chimeriad belong to his highness. But that old fool threw his away for some sniveling brat. That's true. But his sacrifice did give his highness a chance to escape. Hm. He was an idiot right until the end. Always giving me candy when he saw me, like I was some sort of little kid. He just needs to die already. He did. <sighs> With Zhao gone, the offensive might of the Chimeriad has diminished sharply. Bah! I'm all the offensive we need. That goes for you too, Grandma. No one will miss you when you kick off. I'm relieved to hear that. Just you watch. I'll protect His Highness all by myself. <laughs> I'm getting a headache. How am I supposed to relieve this stress when there's no one left to talk to or have a drink with? So, that's it? We're never gonna see Zhao again. Didn't we agree that I would kill you for this sort of thing? Good luck killing me when you're dead. You got a message earlier today. What did it say? What's it matter? At first, I thought you were just in shock over Gillen's betrayal. But the timing wasn't quite right. My mother is dead. It happens. All humans die. Is that your idea of sympathy? <laughs> First Gillen betrays me, then my mother dies. Life sure is peachy. Do you still want to return to Olympias? What other choice do I have? But I'm not going to die. What's that got to do with anything? Would you consider staying in Riza Maxia? What? Would that be so terrible? You'd be with Jude, and me, and everyone else. You're the first person to offer me something like that after finding out who I really am. You're out of your mind. Can't sleep? No. <laughs> me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. 
Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh? As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. How do you intend to hijack a ship that's docked in the sky? We'll use the wyverns in the castle. You have to get there first. I have no intention of sneaking into my own castle. We shall march up the main road and reclaim it. What? You can't be serious! Indeed. At the very least, you should split into two groups, create a diversion. Keep your tactics to yourself, you old fart! Jude, do you know what you have to do? Of course. I have to help Mila win. It's that simple. Then let's go. There's a path leading into the city off the side of the temple. Oh! Why can't we all stick together? <laughs> what shall we do? Let's see. We can take that side path from the temple into the city, then move along the roofs to the castle. From there, we can both capture the flying battleship and retake the castle and its soldiers. Meanwhile, Gaius and the others will create their diversion. Sure would be nice if they let us in on their plan for once. Anyway, let's go. You got it. Everyone, get down! Sure is strong. You could say that again. Jude, behind you. Huh? You gonna gonk all day, kid? Let's go. Right. They appear to be struggling. Shouldn't we help them? Uh... Their diversion will be for naught if we join them. We have to save his highness. Don't let him lay a finger on his highness or the civilians! The people really do love him. If I'm not mistaken, your job here is still to help Mila win. That's right. Let's go, Leia. Gotcha. the bridge. 
That it up there? Repel the hostiles! We'll have to fight our way through. Here we go! Us. Then we can break through these troops. All right, then the question is who shall go? I'm gonna stay here and fight. Mila, you should go. Are you sure, Jude? <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing your plan with these perfect ears of mine. Isn't that... That idiot survived. Hit the showers, fraud. The curtain just closed on you. I'm the new star of the show now. Thanks, Ivor. I'll rest. I could use a breather. No, 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 no! This is all wrong. Now you're supposed to explode into a jealous rage. Uh. Okay, in that case, I'll take care of it. Ha! You think I'm just gonna let you play the hero? Gangway! You've gotten pretty good at handling him. Nah, that just kind of popped into my head. Well, he totally ignored Mila this time. Maybe he's obsessed with you now, Jude. But if he pulls his own weight, I have no complaint. Anyway, let's go. Get him! My sword rings true. Finally. I have seized control of the ship. Drop your weapons and surrender. Ivor, set us down on the ground. What do you think I'm trying to do? Fly loop-de-loops? Uh, this button maybe? Uh, no? Hmm. This must be it. Idiot. What do you do this time? Hopeless as usual. Quite a predicament. Can you tell us anything about these things? Now's hardly the time to chat. You're under attack. Glad that's over. We'll take over from here. Gaius probably didn't need us after all.
Lady Mila, are you unharmed? Yes, thanks to everyone but you. What? The ship is ours! Let's return to the castle. Here, let me help you up. How long until we can set sail? I have every available man working to get the ship's systems under control. It may take a few hours. Looks like we still have some time. Let's rest until then. So, I hear the pimple wants to be a nurse. I bet it's because of that boy. S so what of it? Don't play innocent with me. It's obvious that Jude gets you all hot and bothered. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. But you know, I have to admit my opinion of you has improved. Huh? Really? If you think with your heart instead of your brain, You'll end up killing some patient on accident. It'll be hilarious. You don't even care if your efforts end up killing people. That won't happen. Oh, that's right. That boy's got the hearts for Maxwell, the older woman. That means no loving for you. <laughs> huh? Huh? Who's there? <laughs> Lame! Hey, good looking. Come here often. Think you can charm your way back into my life? You make me puke. Cut me some slack, will ya? After all, we finally get to fight side by side again. I'd sooner kill you. Easy there. Come on. It'll be just like old times. You expect me to forget how many of us died because of you? That's ancient history. I was captured too, you know. Do you have any idea what I went through? <sighs> I thought I'd found my place in the world by your side. Don't expect me to forgive and forget. Being tossed away once was enough. Pressa, I request your presence. I need your opinion on how to integrate the Rajagal soldiers into our own. Sure, I'll be right there. See? Your new friends need you. You found your place after all. Why are you standing out in the cold? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Maybe you should sit down and rest for a bit. Yes. Maybe this is simply fatigue. I'll take up your offer. Hmm? Feeling any better? Not really. But don't worry about it. Maybe if we just chat for a while, this will pass. Okay, sure. So, uh... What's the outside world like? Olympias. What do you wish to know? 
Well, stuff like the climate, how the people are, things like that. I don't really know. Huh. Is that strange? No, I just figured you'd know something. But it sounds like it's been some time since you've seen it. Well, I don't think it's a matter of memory. I simply just don't know. Hmm. Oh, don't worry about it. I was just curious, that's all. All I know is that Spyrex use is rampant on Olympias. Why would the people there rely on Spyrex instead of just using their manalopes? Using Spyrex is easier. No doubt the temptation was just too strong for them. I have a question for you too, actually. What is it? Do you... Um... Uh, uh, how do I put this? You sure everything is okay? You're acting weird today. The ship is ready for departure. Please return to the castle. I guess we should head back. Ah! Muse, don't scare Jude like that. <laughs> Mila, may I speak with you in private for a moment? You two can catch up. I'll just wait back at the castle. What did you want to talk about? You must never forget that the safety of the schism depends on your survival. I understand. Wait, is that it? Yes. I thought it best to remind you on the eve of a dangerous battle. Heed my words, and nothing will go wrong. Anyway, shall we go? Wait. You wish to ask me something? Lately, I often feel like my actions are fraught with contradiction. This has never happened before. Do you know the reason why? Do you mean you feel you're putting people in danger when it's your duty to protect them? <laughs> you're imagining things. Elder Sister knows best. Now let us go. This isn't just my imagination. How did I always ignore these things? It's clear that Maxwell's mission and my own actions contradict each other. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Howe's Egg Principle. In that case, who am I? Mila, what are you doing? Aren't we heading to the castle? Yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hmm? That was quick. You could say that. The gang's all here. Let's go see Gaius. Hold on, everyone. Gaius and the others are taking this fight very seriously. We must make sure we are fully prepared. Yeah, good point. Oh, crap! Why did I just remember this now? What's wrong? Uh-oh. I've seen that look on your face before. It's Master Sonya, isn't it? Before I left, Mom asked me to run an errand for her, but I totally spaced. But that was quite some time ago. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about now. Snap out of it, Leia! We need to come up with a plan! Remember the guy's dumplings they have here? Let's send her some! That's it! We'll distract her with sugar! We'll make it out of this alive yet! Hey! Jude! Leia! Do they understand the situation we're in now? It appeared to be a family matter. It's not our place to interfere. Oh. You've become quite familiar with humans, haven't you? I've seen a lot on my journey. Well, I'm proud of the fact that the great Maxwell is a member of my family. That's right. You and I are family, aren't we? I once thought about what it would be like to have a family. And? 
It was something I've never felt before. Very different from my duties as Maxwell. Of the feelings I've experienced, the one that comes closest is security. <laughs> Why do you laugh? What am I to you then? That's a difficult question. I understand the idea of having a family, but I don't think it's the same as what you're feeling. That's not what I asked. Besides, didn't you just say that you were proud to have me as family? Oh, is that what I said? Unbelievable. I'm beginning to doubt that you truly came here in response to my summons. All I can say is that there is nothing more important to me than fulfilling Maxwell's orders. Hey, sorry about that! We kind of got carried away. Don't worry about it. Hmm? They seem surprised by that. The most important thing to a spirit is the purpose of its existence, its duty. I believe the same is true for humans, but sometimes for humans, there are things that win out over duty. Over duty? Then again, perhaps it's just another kind of duty, the duty to survive. I see. I didn't really understand any of that, but I'm pleased that you were able to convince yourself. Relay this to all troops. We believe the enemy base to be an enormous structure. All soldiers should review their indoor combat procedures. Yes, sir! I anticipate difficulty getting the word to everyone. Call in all of the relay team reserves. Yes, sir! I see you're keeping busy. Of course. 99% of a battle is won before it starts. So at this point, the fighting is just a formality. I leave nothing to chance. That's why I haven't accounted for your group at all. All I expect from you is a distraction. Should you die in the process, my plans will not be disrupted. What? Fair enough. Was that true for Zhao too? Did his death not disrupt your plans? It was not, and it did. Zhao's strength was a trusted resource, not a destabilizing factor like your own. He was a man who not only bested me, but even challenged Gaius one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, were you two friends? Friends? Ah, this must be how a child sees the world. It doesn't matter what we were. What matters now is that our military strength doesn't waver from his loss. You certainly don't make your emotions easy to read. You'd be wise not to waste your energy trying. The time of battle is at hand. Rest while you still can. Carla! What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? I haven't gone back home for quite some time. Hey, Jude, do you have a moment? I'm going to start teaching again soon. Maybe you could help me practice? Sure, I'd be happy to. Wonderful. Okay, take a seat. <clears throat> All right, class, let's begin our lesson. Today we're going to talk about the history of Canbalar. Last time we covered Gaius's role in the Battle of Fezabel. Huh? Just go with it. <laughs> okay. Gaius, disenchanted by the inability of the great clans to guide their troops, formed a group called Taurus. It was to be an assembly based purely on merit, unfettered by outdated clan traditions. He believed that those strong in mind and body should be the ones to lead the country. Nothing like it had ever been attempted before. So it didn't matter what your tribe or position was, only that you were strong. Correct. And Gaius was determined to remake Ajul as a country that no longer sacrificed its weakest citizens. It was after Taurus was formed that he took to calling himself Gaius. Wait, so it's not actually his real name? Correct. Gaius is actually an ancient word that means he who pulls the world behind him. So then what's his real name? Are you sure you want to know that? Huh? Is there some reason I shouldn't? King Gaius hides his real name in order to keep his family out of danger. If you want to know it, you need to be prepared for the consequences. Wait. That doesn't sound right. 
After all, you seem to know his real name. If it was that big of a deal, wouldn't you be in danger yourself? I'm a special case. Uh-huh. Let's just continue the lesson. Very well. After Taurus was formed, King Gaius rallied its members against several of the larger tribes. Fifteen years ago, he vanquished the young but brilliant strategist who led the Longdao tribe and forced him to submit to his leadership. A brilliant Longdao strategist? Wait, you don't mean... Yes, it was none other than Wingull who would come to be known as the Ebon Wing of Longdao. With Wingull at his service, Gaius seized control of Kanbalar five years later. That was when he declared himself to be king of all the Ajul United Territories. This is what would later become known as the Dawn of Ajul, which originally came from the tribes referring to Gaius as the Dawn King. He was only 22 years old at the time. That's not much older than I am. I can't believe he actually united Ajul at that age. Yes, it's impressive. He must be a very strong man. But don't his friends and family miss him? Hmm? Gaius may be so strong that it doesn't bother him, but surely the rest of his family misses him. Possibly. But I'm sure they understand he has a great burden that takes precedence over everything else. Gaius belongs to the people now, not his family. I guess. And after all, it's thanks to him that Ajul is now a much nicer place to live. And with that, I must be going. Can't keep my students waiting, you know. Thanks for helping me practice. Oh, sure. Good luck with your classes. Thank you. What are Rashigal's soldiers doing here? I summoned them here, although fewer came than I had hoped. Ah, looks like Ivor's still here too. That fool. He abandoned his duty to Neokara. Your Highness, perhaps a few words. Once. We turned our swords upon each other and fought for control of Riza Maxia. Today, we come together not as enemies, but as allies. We have already located the enemy's headquarters, a ship known as the Zenithra. Fear not the battle to come, brothers. United, we will not falter. Together, we shall reclaim our world! Launch the ship. Your, your Highness! We've detected a high-energy channeling circle surrounding all of Rize Maxia. Here it comes! Uh, what's happening? It's like my man is being sucked dry. I know this feeling. They're using the Lance of Kresnik to absorb the entire world's mana! The Spirit Fuel Plan. I won't let them hurt our people. I will protect Riza Maxia. Make us airborne! Why can't I shake this dreadful feeling? Is my doubt causing this, too? There you are. I've been looking for you. Mind if I join you? Sure. It's funny. I was once able to soar like this whenever I wished. But I'm not sure I realized just how beautiful the world is until now. I suppose I took it for granted. Hey, Mila? We talked about this before, but when this battle is over... Yes? Actually, never mind. I see. Jude, 
There's something I need to tell you. It's about me. About who I really am. What do you mean? I never meant for this to happen. But in the end, I lied to you. Wait, what do you mean you lied? She's calling you. You should go. We can finish this conversation later. All right. Afraid that Jude will learn the truth. <laughs> As if the four could really come. Zenithra was the actual source of that light. And I think that. It put another hole in the schism. You're right. At least no ships were able to come through this time. Maybe they sent the mana they gathered back to Olympias. Looks like your fuel plan theory was right. It seems like the only time that I'm right is when I'm talking about a worst-case scenario. Wait a minute. our welcoming committee.
was incredible. I seem to have regained my powers thanks to your tethering. I never imagined you would possess such power. Of course, she's your big sis! I'm glad you're on our side. I am happy to lend my power to your cause. What are you planning to do? The mission would fail if the ship were to fall, yes? I see. It sounds like we'll have to continue asking for your assistance. Thank you, Muse. Take care. Be safe. Mila, never forget that you are Maxwell. <sighs> We must act quickly, while the enemy reinforcements are being blocked. We should split into two groups. I know. Do what must be done, right? We will put a stop to their plans right here. Our targets are Gilland and the Lance of Kresnik. At your service, Lady Mila. You again? Hey! Stay out of our way! <laughs> but of course! I shall join Gaius's capable crew. What? Think you can fill Zhao's shoes in the Chimeriad? Easily! Just watch me! Let's go. Guess they know a winner when they see one, phony. Get over here, idiot. How rude! But I shall let it slide. Al. What? Try not to die. Let's go. All right! What is this? It's called a radio. Handy, Gizmo. You use it to communicate far distances. We captured one of the intruders. Deploy all combat personnel immediately. Whoa, we can talk! <laughs> what do you mean? Who are you you're talking to? You can't do this. I will not lose him. Sounds like Ivor got caught. Should we rescue him? Only after we finished everything else. A great number of spirits have perished again. Sounds like they used the Lance of Kresnik again. We have to hurry. Wow. It's like a mansion in here. I thought this was a battleship. No. The ESS Zenithra was a cruise ship that plied Olympia's oceans. It ended up here 20 years ago when part of the schism ruptured. Wait a minute. That's when the Olympian army broke through the schism. They did what? How could they break through from Olympias without the lands of Kresnik? I don't know the details. The original lands of Kresnik was developed by the Olympian army. What do you know about it? Not much more. I know the current Lance of Kresnik was modeled after it. And your people made it because they wanted spirits. Olympias is a world built on and developed around Spyrix. They're the foundation of our entire civilization. Why can't you find a different foundation for your civilization? I bet all Olympia's people are big, fat, lying barbarians just like Alvin. 
Oh, now I'm a barbarian as well as a liar? It's not as simple as just giving up Spyrexes for some other technology. We're not like you. We don't have mana lobes. Wait, what? We can't wield spirit arts. We lack the ability to manipulate mana. So you use Spyrexes instead? Exactly. Damn it! They put up barrier bars. Ooh, pretty! Careful. Touch one and you'll be sliced in two. What? What should we do? Security report! We've energized the barrier bars in the central sector. However, we're having trouble activating them in other sectors. What? Is something wrong with the generators? Negative. Both generators are functioning normally. The malfunction must lie elsewhere. We can't disengage the central barrier bars. Use every available soldier to guard the port and starboard generators. Defend them with your lives. Yes, sir. Good timing. It appears these bars will disappear if we disable the generators on the port and starboard sides. Okay, let's find them. How do you disable one of these things? It takes a gentle touch. A pleasant surprise. How considerate of you to deliver Maxwell right to me. Tell me, Alfred Vincent, why is it that you have betrayed us? It's simple. Because the truth is I've always despised you. I see. So you're prepared to spend the rest of your life in Riza Maxia. Like that matters to me. <laughs> How'd you do that? I didn't feel any spirits die. What's going on? Eat this! So you're Maxwell. You look quite a bit different now. Be quiet! Who told you to speak? Yes, Master. What the heck was that? Why are you taking orders from that big jerk? It's only natural for tools to obey their wielders. The only tool here is you! Spirits and humans are supposed to live in harmony! My servant here is hardly your garden variety type spirit. She's actually a spyrite. What? We used boosters to recreate the spirit Celsius from the spirit fossil in which she lay dormant. She is the physical manifestation of a spirit art itself. So now you're using the spyrite's mana to perform arts? <laughs> and that's why she's a tool. Does it all make sense now? How could you? You're despicable! So that's why you took Chipo's Gata? How could you do that 
to him! Little lady, I need to personally thank you for that. You told us precisely how to give birth to the Spyrites. And how to turn Riza Maxia into energy. I take it those aren't tears of joy, little lady. <laughs> how can you be such a monster? Conductor, I thought the curtain closed on your career long ago. Why insist on an encore even now? I'll have you know that I'm as stubborn as my king, Gilland. And I'm not about to forgive you for toying with his life. We won't lose to you. No way! <laughs> Is that supposed to frighten me? You really should know your place, boy. You don't have the power or ambition to make good on such threats. You of all people have no right to talk of power or ambition. What do you know? You use them both for your twisted objectives. I have little interest at all in continuing this conversation. But answer this one question. Do you know the difference between you and Jude? <laughs> As if I care. As I thought. And that's exactly what makes you a fool. The Lance is schooling up to absorb more mana. Come, Maxwell. I'll allow you to live. However... The rest of you will die! I will protect all in Riza Maxia, people and spirits alike. That's it, Gilland! This madness ends right now! It's time I got rid of you once and for all! Funny, I was just thinking the same thing. I won't let you harm Max. Out of our way! Mira, wait! She was right. We should not underestimate Celsius. This is my ultimate creation! Face through power and die! All beginning, not dead. Let it be. By my hand! Elemental mastery! I almost pity you. that of the great spirits. The power of Spyrite! Doesn't matter. Gillen's ambitions end here. No, not now. Not when we finally created a Spyrite. Damn it! The only thing you really want to do is gain favor with the outside to boost your influence. What's the point in making these Spyrites, or whatever you call them? Spyrites are different from Spyrix devices. They allow us to wield incredible power without consuming spirit. Olympias is overflowing with people and technology, and we need Spyrites to sustain ourselves. What are you talking about? As spirits have become scarce, so has the mana in Olympias. Our world is now doomed to fade away.
So that is why you implemented the Otherworld Reactor Plan. But it's your fault. For getting hooked on Spyrites to begin with, now you have to live with the consequences. But if Spyrites become commonplace, the people of Olympias will have all the mana they need. Isn't it a bit late for that? You were the ones who chose to rely on Spyrix 2,000 years ago. That wasn't me! Hey, are you okay? My death is not going to change the face of Risa Maxia. Our, our plan can proceed so long as the schism exists. Everything you've done is for nothing! Is he dead now? Perhaps that was the price he had to pay for using Celsius. It was a high price to pay, even for that much power. Well, I'll be taking this back. Glendor, you'll cement. Goodbye, Uncle. Has everything been settled now? You just missed it. This doesn't feel right. Not at all. Exodus must abandon their plans. They must be forced to, for the sake of Riza Maxia. Right.
Don't do it! No, you can't do this! What are you doing? Aren't you supposed to stick around to help protect the world? There are still so many things left you need to do! With the schism gone, Exodus' plan will come to an end. Isn't that right? What? Still here? I told you to leave with Jude and the others. I'm sorry. I dragged you into this. Well, well. You've certainly changed, haven't you? I just want to live as Maxwell. That's all. And that's an excuse to off yourself, huh? I know it conflicts with my mission. Then don't. Don't do it. I don't want to disappoint Jude. When he's watching me, I want to be like this. I want to be the Maxwell he respects. What does Maxwell have to fear? So that's what it was. I finally understand. I've become afraid. Afraid of loss. Bye, Jude.